One day after Megyn Kelly destroys Jane Fonda, viewers notice something odd about her show. By that conservative girl, entertainment politics for MadWorldNews.com. On Monday, NBC News host Megyn Kelly lit into Jane Fonda after the 80-year-old actress uh, served as the keynote speaker for a Women's March rally over the weekend. However, just one day after Kelly publicly destroyed Fonda, viewers noticed something odd about her show. Megyn Kelly's brutal takedown of Jane Fonda on Monday had many of her viewers cheering as they felt like the girl they once knew and loved was finally back. Indeed, when she was an anchor at Fox News, Kelly was known for putting out of touch liberals in their respective places on a nightly basis. However, that all changed after Donald Trump announced his candidacy for president. Kelly spent the next year positioning herself as one of Trump's harshest critics, alienating her fan base of conservative viewers. Eventually, she left Fox News for NBC, where she no longer covers much politics at all. It seemed that Kelly had fallen from grace. She went from one of the most popular anchors at America's most viewed cable uh, news station to a daytime talk show host so desperate for views that she interviewed the Kardashians. It definitely wasn't a good look. Thus, many people were thinking that the old Megyn Kelly was back on Monday when she took on uh, Jane Fonda. The two women had been in the midst of what might uh, best be described as a catfight for weeks with Fonda apparently miffed that Kelly would have the audacity to bring up her plastic surgery during a live televised interview. After Jane Fonda repeatedly criticized Megyn Kelly over a question the NBC anchor asked her about plastic surgery, the Today host decided she'd had enough. Kelly used her platform on Today on Monday to slam Fonda for continuing to bring up the four-month-old cringeworthy moment after Fonda told Variety over the weekend she would only appear on Kelly's show again if she comes around and learns her stuff. It wasn't like I was upset, Fonda said. I was stunned. It was so inappropriate. It showed that she's not that good an interviewer. Kelly said on Monday that Fonda has no business lecturing anyone on what qualifies as offensive, source Fox News. For years, uh, Fonda has spoken openly about her joy in giving a culture of face to older women, Kelly said on Monday. The truth is, uh, most older women look nothing like Fonda, who is now 80. And if Fonda really wants to have an honest discussion about older women's cultural face, then her plastic surgery is tough to ignore, she continued. I have no regrets about that question, nor am Am I in the market for a lesson from Jane Fonda on what is and is not appropriate, Kelly added. After all, this is a woman whose name is synonymous with outrage. Look at her treatment of military during the Vietnam War. Kelly concluded she posed on an anti-aircraft gun used to shoot down our American pilots. She called our POWs hypocrites and liars and referred to their torture as understandable. Even she had to apologize years later for that gun picture, but not for the rest of it. By the way, she still says she is not proud of America. Uh, Ali's uh, tweet, Megan Kelly responds to criticism from, J for, uh, from Jane Fonda, saying that she has no regrets about uh, Fonda's plastic surgery. Then she goes on to address Fonda's own past, Tanoi Jane, and she says she's in no position to talk about what's offensive. Well, naturally, the backlash from Fonda's colleagues in Hollywood was swift and fierce. Fonda is a feminist icon and, as such, is regarded as untouchable by those in the entertainment industry. That's why it was seemingly too much of a coincidence to ignore when Kelly was off uh, the air on uh, Tuesday, just 24 hours after calling Fonda out for her blatant hypocrisy. Megan was off the air on Tuesday one day after she went after Jane Fonda in a headline-grabbing attack. NBC chose to run a taped episode of Kelly's Hour of Today, despite the fact that she had managed to grab public interest on Monday with her criticism of the Oscar-winning actress, who has repeatedly taken the host to task for asking about her plastic surgery in September. 
The airing of Megyn Kelly yesterday also coincided with the announcement of the this year's Oscar nominations, an event today has covered in the past by speaking with the contenders during the 9 a.m. hour of the show, Source Daily Mail. NBC is maintaining that this, the decision to run a pre-taped show on Tuesday had always been in the works, but viewers are still skeptical as it seems to be quite the coincidence that this happened just one day after Kelly came under fire for attacking one of her the entertainment industry's most notorious feminist icons. While Kelly might have gotten away with something like this when she was with Fox, NBC is far less conservative and would likely side with Fonda in this situation. Kelly might have enjoyed the luxury of airing her own opinion while she was with Fox News, but it appears that she is now having to come to terms with the harsh reality that most mainstream news outlets will expect her to tow uh, the Democratic Party line, which means kowtowing to liberal elites like Jane Fonda. Well, you never know, her days might be limited because NBC is not the same as Fox. Um, and, uh, you know, and then again, if you dislike uh, Jane Fonda that much and the tensions, you should have not done the interview with uh, Jane Fonda because uh, at the same time, you don't like her. And after the fact, you're coming out there and spilling all this uh, trash about Fonda. I'm not a fan of Fonda's, but at the same time, you got your job to do. You agreed to be with a network that wasn't conservative. So, you know, I, I think it all falls back right on Kelly's lap, to, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, uh, you, you, you have to work in places where your uh, belief systems uh, coincide. But when she started attacking Donald Trump, she was done at Fox. So she's basically uh, basically done everywhere, come to think about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.